I propose that it only matters that you attempt to catch a fish. Doing so brings you closer to nature. Fennel Hudson. It is just the nature that grabs you. It's so untouched, so rough. Uh, the water is crystal clear. Hi, and welcome to the western part of southern Norway. My name is Ryan Marquesa. This is my fluffy friend, Mira. And we would like to tell you about the wonderful sea trout fishing here in the western part of southern Norway. Our breathtaking long Avera coastline here houses a mixture of wonderful places to fish from sandy beaches, rocky beaches, bays, and when the weather's not too good, into the fjords. The wild and healthy fish docks here can boast of an average size of around about 500 grams with wonderful fish of between three and six kilos being caught each year and in an epic 9.5 kilo record caught some years ago. But now some words from our co-organizer Hans Bock from Hooked on Fly Fishing. Well, I've been coming to Norway already for more than 31 years, the sea trout angling, the quality of it, and, and they are there. I mean, it's fishing, of course, but, um, and I had a blank, a la it, it, one blank in the last 10 days that I was fishing. I had two days where I caught one fish, but I also have days where I caught 10, 11 fish. Unforgettable days. And I literally didn't see Anybody fishing, not a spin fisher, not a, a boat, not a fly fisherman, uh, for the last 10 days. And I've been, I've been in the water the all, all the time. Here, in the western part of southern Norway, we are lucky enough to have a dedicated group called the Sea Trout Club. It's through their extensive knowledge, experience and continual efforts that they build these beautiful waterfalls and help our local stocks of sea trout and salmon to reach otherwise inaccessible areas of spawning streams. And shown here are just a few examples 
the amazing construction work that they do to assist our local fish populations in becoming healthier for each year. The Wild Atlantic Salmon Centre, located at Quorce in the Lugna River Valley, can boast a 60 metre tunnel deep in the mountain which leads to a 220 metre long tunnel. The salmon ladder located here helps the salmon and sea trout pass a formerly impassable waterfall. And here you can watch salmon and sea trout rest before they continue their journey further upstream to areas of the river which were formerly inaccessible to them. Is it? It's like uh, sea trout heaven uh, for me. <laughs> <laughs>